G'day and welcome. Um, so, recently been cl cleaning up a motorbike at the moment, um, but I was using my air compressor the other day and the noise it made as it's going changed and then it won't uh, properly air up anymore. It still generates uh, compression, it just never fully um, generates enough to cut out so it basically runs continuously. Um, from what I found online is that there's a pair of reed valves on the inlet and outlet ports on the head that seem to wear out. This compressor is probably like over 15 years old but they don't seem to change a whole much in that time so what I'm going to do is pull the head off and have a look inside it. I just realized I'm going to need a spanner to take that off as well so let's go get something to do that. I'll pause this for a sec and then I'll be back. Hmm. Maybe it's actually metric. No, I'll give it. That's not even. You know, let's say loose. That might be half the problem. It's suspicious that we're here, so let's these are loose as well. Jesus. I need a thin walled. I was just expecting all this to be a bit Hard to come apart. So I do wonder if that's part of my problem. But we'll have a look inside for our own interest as much as anything. And listen to a dog bark. Go oh, quiet. Recording, yes. Yeah, read valves don't look too bad. They look like they're intact. Uh, there's a gasket. It's like a metal shim that's burnt out. I'm going to pull you off the tripod. So, you can see, I'm going to move it, pick it up. That needs to be fully all the way across. Because right now, the inlet and the outlet, that basically can go straight across. I guess it's relying on, maybe that's why that one looks so hot relying on that to stop air from just coming back out and flying straight back out the uh, exit like the in intake manifold hmm I was thinking it was just going to be one of these little reed valves that I could replace that metal shim is going to be harder to replace damn it Dag Nabbit. Hmm. Well, I was hoping it was just a order of these bucks you can get for about ten bucks online. I'll have to have a look at the uh, gaskets or little shim gaskets, but uh, that's not a good sign. All right, put you back in the. Uh, tripod for a minute. I'm going to 
I should have thickness of this shim. And it is basically a point one nine mil. It's a point two millimeters thick. And I guess we'll go to about 73 millimeters in diameter if I find some kind of metal shim stock maybe I could try to make one But, uh, don't look like it needs to be particularly thin. Oh well, for now, I guess, we screw it all back together. And um, go see if we can find some more. And then we will screw this back together. Not snap into position there with any kind of. Index. Nice if it was. I'm going to though. Because it means I need to try to get that. The other compressors I saw online, both the upgrade valves had indexes so they kind of went into position and stayed. Together now, we're going to fold it back. If I had money, I'd probably just replace this for a bigger one, but things are a bit tight right now. Oh, they always, always a bit tight, isn't it? I don't want anything to. It's really tired than what it was to start with. That might have been the reason why I burned out there, didn't I? Anyway, that is one compressor head taken off and put back on. Um, yeah, I guess I'll go see if I can you know, find a replacement gasket for it. Okay, so with this gasket, this is a gasket out of the air compressor. Um, you can buy them online, but I'm only finding them on like AliExpress or eBay if you want to buy about 10 of them. 
Um, they're not super expensive, but shipping from China at the moment is going to take a long time. I don't particularly have the motivation to wait, plus we it's going to take a couple of months basically to get here. I'm not even sure if we'll still be here in a couple of months, so I'm going to attempt to make some out of some gasket paper. Well, it's paper. This is aluminium, and it kind of looks like it's blown through. Um, I'm wondering if that's related to the head gaskets, the the head bolts being quite loose. Um, and from a bit of reading online, people seem to be having some success making cardboard, um, like gasket paper gaskets for these things so I'm going to give it a go I figure if it blows it out it blows it out um, so yeah I'm just gonna try to trace it out um, and see how we go Try not to let it move, but... Yeah, I wasn't sure about um, gasket paper. Because it being a alloy, um, but from what I've read, the paper holds up okay. Um, maybe at the very least, if I do the paper one, I can then get around to ordering the actual proper replacements. Might even order some uh, of the reed valves at the same time because. They seem to be the other thing that fails in these air compressors. And uh, if I do that, then we have some... We have a good compressor again. Um, do I have a ruler? A really long ruler. I thought I had a 30 centimeter one somewhere. This 51 will have to do. Might even go so far as trying to leave a bit of extra chunk on the um, middle part just to. Get that. But. That is our. gasket. I'll start by the outside doesn't need to be super accurate yeah. paper away for next time, find an exacto knife. You know what I found the you found this um cheapo Stanley knife first, so we we'll use that.
This is very much an experiment. Um, I mean, if I can find it, if I can get it working again, that would be awesome. If I can't, then I guess so be it. At some point when I can, I'll get a new one. Bigger one. I want to get a new, a bigger compressor anyway. But money is too tight to mention at the moment. So we will do what we got with what we got. that size. What can we punch it on? That I'm gonna move you guys for a minute. That's what they have. Seeing that much from me. So. Doesn't need much of a hit with these. Just a tap. There we go, we have one template, or one. So, I made a bit. Yeah, I think that should work. I left a bit of extra chunk meat on here. As long as the reeds sit in the right place, should be okay, and hopefully it adds a bit of extra. Meat to it. Alright, let's take this back outside and see how we go. Alright, here we are back at the compressor. Let's try. I think that's going to be fine. I think that'll be perfect. Get over. Let me get you right over. it would be helpful if there wasn't a. Uh, Drilling really nice. eye, but uh, as you can see, it kind of kind of covers everything. So what we'll do now is what we'll do now is load it back up again. I guess. Now this paper is a bit high, a bit thicker than this, but I'm hoping once we clamp it down, it'll clamp into a position that's serviceable. this one this way first. Yeah, and I don't know if you can see it, but if I lift this up on the head, 
you can see it doesn't get pretty close here but it's not covering over any of the uh, it covers these ports a little bit but hopefully that's not a major issue um, yeah let's see how that goes Speed things up a little bit. All right, and we find ourselves a ratchet. I'm not doing this up to any kind of torque spec. Already tighter than what it was originally, so I think I match. Is that what I do with that shift and span? Took it away again. Of course, I did. Get nice and tight. Tighter than what it was to start with again. <laughs> now I guess we plug it in, see how it goes. All right, now we're uh, got the compressor plugged in and that, the uh, new gasket in it. I'm gonna fire it up, see what it does. Seems to be making air. We'll see if it turns itself off after it gets up to pressure. I'm going to call that a success because it would basically just keep running. Essentially, it gets gets um roughly must be must be close, but it would get to that straight on now, which is uh yeah, whatever it is, I can't really read it, but uh, and just kind of stop and basically just keep running. But the fact it turned itself off means at least for now my cardboard um, head gasket material head gasket is holding up we'll see how it works in the long run but now I know how it works I will um, yeah know where to start and I'll archive the uh, original and maybe I'll get to buying myself a proper metal replacement for it so if it does go, I can swap it out again, but uh, for now, I am pretty happy. So I'm going to leave it there. My name's Matt, I'm from DIY Data, and I'll catch you guys next time.